while thousands gathered in the Vatican to receive the blessing of Pope John Paul II. On a sunny day of May 1981, one man was there for different reasons. As the Pope drove through the crowd, the man, the subject of this video, pulled out his gun and shot the Pope four times. The Pope remained remarkably calm after being shot. The assassin here is Mehmet Ali Acha, a Turkish gangster who had previously shot and killed a prominent Turkish journalist a year earlier. Who is Ali? Why did he want to kill the Pope and what happened to him? In this video, I will try to answer those questions. Ali was born and raised in Turkey, where he got involved in petty crime and was part of many street gangs as a young man. By the time he was 21, he was already a member of the far-right group known as the Grey Wolves. They ordered him to kill Abji Ipeksha, a human rights activist and journalist of a left-wing newspaper. After the murder, Ali was ratted out by an informant, and he was then sentenced to life in prison. He escaped to Bulgaria after serving only six months of his sentence. It was in Bulgaria that a Turkish mafioso allegedly assigned him the job to kill the Pope. According to Ali, the plan was for him to kill the Pope while a backup gunman would detonate a small bomb near the crowd. The explosion would cause more panic, allowing the two men to flee to the Bulgarian embassy and hide as members of the public. When the time came, Ali did indeed shoot the Pope. His partner though, panicked, failed to detonate the bomb and Ali was immediately stopped by the public and arrested by the police. He was sentenced to life in prison in Italy. Interestingly enough, two years later, Pope John Paul II visited him while in prison. The two supposedly developed a friendship over the following years. In fact, the Pope met with Ali's mother and his brother on different occasions. In 2000, after 19 years in prison, the Italian president pardoned Ali at the Pope's request and he was deported to Turkey. Upon his arrival in Turkey though, he was immediately arrested for the 1979 murder of the journalist. He managed to escape to Bulgaria again, which begs the question, how terrible are the prisons in Turkey? Anyways, he was extradited to Turkey, served six years in prison before being released on parole, because his lawyer managed to convince the government to deduct his time served in Italy from his sentence. But days later, the Turkish government decided that his time served in Italy could not actually be deducted from his sentence in Turkey and Ali was arrested and put in prison again. He was released four years later and visited the tomb of Pope John Paul II in 2014. Today, he apparently helps stray cats and dogs in Istanbul where he lives.